lost down in the hold. So afraid, I couldn't speak. The day before we docked, they ran out of water for us. But when I finally walked down those steel stairs, there was Uncle Dimitri and Aunt Naya with their arms open. They're gone now. But that moment is when I understood what family means. I think about Catherine a lot. But things change. That's nature's way. Exquisite. I've noticed her around church. It's my daughter. Oh, <laughs> you must be very proud. Oh, I am. She's wonderful. I'm Eleni Podaris. Have I seen you before? Uh, Jean and Matru. I'm afraid I hardly even come on holidays. <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Which of those is your grandchild? Oh, I wish. <laughs> I'm afraid my daughter is very picky. I have a picky son, too. <laughs> Johnny, here's Johnny. See, isn't he handsome? Oh, a movie star. <laughs> now these two, they would make beautiful grandchildren. Mmm, Catherine doesn't like me butting in. I know, neither does John. Can't you just meet her for coffee? Mm -hmm. She, uh, she sews for the kids. She's a bower, right, Mom? Johnny, do this for your mother. Just one more time. No more blind dates. They end up talking about themselves in a restaurant that I hate, making me sit too close in a movie I didn't want to see. Well, this time it might be different, okay? Besides, it's just for coffee. Hi, can I help you? Um, actually, I'm meeting someone. I don't know what he looks like. Uh, excuse me. You said you were meeting someone. Are you John? Uh, you're Catherine. Hi. What, what can I get you guys? Um, I'll have a cappuccino. Uh, regular coffee, thanks. Okay. Just, I'm sitting over here. I don't think I've ever had regular coffee in one of these places. I mean, not that you can't get whatever you want. I mean, I'm sure the coffee's terrific here. It's just like, you know, when you go to a fancy restaurant and you order scrambled eggs and they're like the best scrambled eggs you've ever had. <laughs> I'm talking too much. No, 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 not, not at all. Um, my mom says you're a music teacher? For kids. I mean, I would have liked to have played for a living, but... I mean, I'm good, but, you know, you have to be really good to do that. Well, I, I bet you are good. I, I can tell by your hands. Because you know that's what they say about, you know, the piano players, you got long fingers, and I, and, and I have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. What do you do? Um, I work in my family's auto garage. So what, what kind of music do you like to play? Well, I mean, the kids, they love, you know, that bubblegum pop stuff, but I like, you know, classical jazz, Thelonious Monk. Oh, yeah, I like kids. Oh, no, 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 thanks. I like mine lighted. <laughs> Hi. 
Hi. Oh, I hate to say I told you so. <laughs> But I told you so. Someday I hope to have my own boat. 38 foot Fantail trawler, all in your nav and tracking equipment, so I don't get lost. Oh, you won't get lost. You think I'm crazy? No. I think you'd be crazy not to do it if you love it. Once I pulled salmon for 48 hours straight. You know, and it's uh, freezing cold and your knuckles are bleeding. There's that, there's that charge to it, and that kick. And I had, to, I had to go back to the garage after you know, my dad died, which is all right. I mean, it's okay. It's just, I miss that. You know, I miss being out there. I miss that freedom. You'll get back to this. I know you will. Yeah. Hey, Joe! Hey, Johnny! You know what? You make me feel like I can do anything. It's kind of like when I'm playing the piano and everything else just drops away and it's just the music and it's kind of silence and peace. Yeah, it's, it's the same thing for me on the ocean. I like it here. <laughs> Come on, please. Tell the story. Jen and I were on our honeymoon. Right? Cruise ship, music, oh, moonlight wow. on the water. And then we look into each other's eyes. And what comes out of his mouth? If you ever weigh more than 140 pounds, I'm going to drop you like a dirty shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you got to lay down the law. Right, honey? Right. But if she was pregnant, that would be an exception, wouldn't it? I got to warn you, Catherine. Eleni's obsessed with the grandson. Well, so is my mother. I mean, whose isn't? That's a smart girl. No, Mama, Mama, you said, said, okay, okay. Are you Oh, sorry. Oh, no, no. Come on in. We'll talk. I first met Dan when I was working at the coffee shop next door to their garage. He and John used to come in all the time. I love Dan, but I should have gone for John. He did good. Oh, wait. What, what, what happened? I know it sounds corny, but I want to wait. Would you? Of course, of course. Well, how long? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't mean that the way it sounds. I know, it won't be long, I don't think. I mean, neither do I. What do you mean? Well, what did you mean? I asked you first. First one takes last one's place. Where'd you hear that? When I was a kid, you know, I was one of those kids. I was always last. Well, not anymore. Catherine sent me a thank you note. She's such a well-mannered girl. I got you. is nothing. Oh, sweet. No, 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 hold on. Hold on, I had to memorize this so I wouldn't have a heart attack, okay? What's that? Okay. I love you so much. And I want us to spend the rest of our lives together. Mary. 
marry me? Denser, it weighs more, that's it. Okay, well then which is heavier? A ton of lead or a ton of feathers? Thanks, thanks, Frank, y'all remember that. A ton's a ton, it's the same thing, get a clue. Here's a toast for you. Gina Mitchell. <laughs> I am so happy that my son found a wonderful, refined girl like your daughter who was brought up the right way. Okay, that's us. Come on. Excuse us. Excuse us, please. Oh, thanks. Uh, testing, testing, newlyweds. I'm Dan, just a cousin. But uh, I did live in their house for 19 years. I never cleaned the upstairs bathroom once. Some cousin But uh, um, I did learn that in the Padaris family, we believe in the old traditions. And when a son gets married, he gets a little help to start his new life. So would this seagoing dork if you get off the car and go, ship and come home! <laughs> but uh, anyway, little J-Man, you bad boy. Sweet, sweet Catherine. Uh, I guess we're going to be neighbors soon, because uh, anyway, uh, we got this, uh, we got something for you to sign up here. It's a, uh, it's a deal of trust for your new home! Oh. Oh, honey, look, you really need to do this for us. Uh, Catherine, may live forever. Um, a toast to my new family. I've been looking forward to this day my, my whole life. Thank you for making it seem like a fairy tale. Um, the new house, I, uh, I love you all so much. Uh, thank you, Frank and Dan. How about a drink, guys? <laughs> um, thank you all very, very much. Um, you've all taught me the true meaning of family. I, I love you all. Thank you. of the wedding. I know. I wish I could have contributed more. Oh, Mom, it's all right. I mean, this is for John and his mother, not me. I mean, I would have been happy getting married in Vegas just as Elvis. <laughs> <sighs> so proud of him. Your father would have been so proud of you today. I miss him. Too, uh, but he's here, you know.
daughter. Well, remember Jessie J. She's a married lady now. Oh, yes, yes. Married a boy when she could have had a man. Oh. No kidding, Catherine. You know, the only reason I went out with her was to get next to you. Baby, you got to know my love is me. If you're unsure, and question me. I'll give you all my love, and that's how it's gonna be. Who's that guy? Jesse J? An old friend. Nice guy. Rain or shine. Just give me the time, I'll make you mine. Well, it's as good as it's gonna get without lipo and six months of tofu. See you later. Do I have to tell you? The doctor said if we're gonna have a baby, you gotta quit smoking, or the baby's gonna be deformed. Huh? Look, she's a chimney! Look, I'm down to one cigarette a day, Dan. Huh? What about you and your lifting vitamins for deformed? Come on. Come on. It needs new everything. You got enough food, Charlene? <laughs> Catherine Podaris. <laughs> when you take our name, you take our blood. It goes back 700 years. And I am more than just the head of the family. I am your friend forever. I remember after my father died when I was a little kid, I dreamed of belonging to a strong, warm family. I named them, I, I used to talk to them, you know, like um, a make-believe family. But now it's real. What's it all for, if not for family? I wish Frank was here more often. 
Charlie, dear, bring the cake out. And don't eat it all on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I made your favorite, Johnny. Oh. Okay, come here, you gotta try this. I love this. Lenny, you should give Catherine the recipe. This girl is too beautiful to slave over a hot stove. Oh, are these peanuts? Fresh roasted. I crushed them myself. I'm allergic to peanuts. My throat closes and I can't breathe. Oh, uh, just take the frosting off. There's no nuts inside. Okay. Give me her plate. Let me do it for you, dear. I didn't know. I made this cake for 35 years. Nobody ever had a bad reaction. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sorry if I spooked you at the wedding. Dan and I were having troubles all day. Why? I danced with some old geezer. He got jealous. And then he caught me with the dreaded sig word. Then he got drunk and he popped me. But the next day, he uh, went out and he, um, he bought me these. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. He spent his whole allowance. I wish he'd give him a real paycheck. Yeah, why does she pay them in cash like that, like a handout? Is it for taxes or something? No, it's so she can control all the money. Oh, and you better like Eleni's choice of food. Look at her in there, flipping those cans like a 12-year-old bag boy. Well, I better go help her. Not me. I can't bite the hand that feeds us, but I don't have to lick it. <laughs> Saturday. They're not going to deliver on Saturday. Oh, Mama, you just, uh, you just, uh, you hold that thought. Dad. Cover for me, will you? Go get her, J Mac! I'm sorry, I, I forgot. I forgot. She's supposed to go to Pop's grave. She's going to go every Sunday. It's all right, Johnny. We'll go later. I thought I'd surprise you with breakfast. Isn't this nice? Did you clean up your Pop? I was thinking of planting a rose bush. Nikos loved roses. We, we could go and get one. Catherine and I had kind of had plans. How's things between you two? They're good. You know, they're really, really good. You're working on a grandson for me, aren't you? You know, I, I want one. Catherine thinks we should get to know each other a little better. I, I think love and marriage would sort of count, wouldn't you? It's like Charlene. Dan is trying, but nothing's happening. I told him he should have her looked at. Is Catherine taking birth control? What? What? What kind of question is that? This is embarrassing. She... She... Yeah, she is. Oh, come on, Ma. Well, I can't force her. We got to talk about this. No, we don't. Good. If you want the family's line to die with you. Yeah, that sounds so good to me. I gotta go. I gotta go. Thanks for breakfast. See you later. Morning. Morning.
have a very nice husband. It's so good to see a son who takes the time to come over and have breakfast with his mother every morning. Excuse me? I was just trying to help her. She's lonely. John, I love your mother, but we're married now. It, it doesn't seem right that you're still going over there and she's cooking you breakfast every morning. I mean, how can you eat two breakfasts? You're going to end up looking like a blimp. I know. Just that me and her, we've been through so much together. Hey, you remember when I was uh, around 10, I told you I was really sick? Yeah. You never told me what was wrong. Well, I had a uh, childhood arthritis, and the kids, you know, were pretty mean. My mother was there for me, you know, 24-7. She sat Dan down and told him, you look after him. I, ju I just can't bail out on them. No, I wouldn't want that. I'm, I'm not saying not to see her. You see that? You get it. You get it. You're right. You're right. I'll, um, I'll talk to her. You know, no more breakfast, and we need at least one day to ourselves. Sundays? Yeah. So can we, uh, can we remodel the kitchen? But not on a Sunday. Wait, it is my kitchen, isn't it? And it's going to be the best kitchen in the whole city. Guess what? Ma, I'm surprised with the big cash bump. The garage is doing great. John, we can't take it. She's done too much for us already. It's not going to cost much. Me and Dan are going to do most of the work. Look, it makes Ma feel good to know that she's, she's helping us out, you know, like Pop did. This is really important. Okay, please, please. <laughs> All right. And I was thinking, you know, with Sundays and a uh, and new kitchen where, you know, you teach me how to cook, we'd be together more. Maybe, maybe we could make a baby. In the kitchen? John will like the blue. I don't know. We were thinking of something paler. Oh, no, I know my Johnny. He'll like the blue. John? Yeah? Catherine is looking at tile samples. Show him, Catherine. Allie, I like the blue one. Anything else I can get my two favorite ladies? No, I'm sure that'll do it, Johnny. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Ma. Damn, we got lunch. What is this doing here? What is this doing here? What? You know how bad this is for the baby? Look, that is not mine. I quit. Look, there's no lipstick on it. It's one of the guys. John? I want to know who's smoking in this house. God, I thought that once I got pregnant, she'd get off my case, but no breaks. At least she's not in your house day in and day out. I'm actually thinking of getting her a pollster. <laughs> <laughs> Tuck and roll. <laughs> oh, well, don't envy me. You've got the favorite one. Dan wishes he was as close to her like John is. You know, I knew her husband near the end. He was a really sweet man, but I don't know, there was something, something in his eyes. She's got it too. It's a weird family. <sighs> Have you uh, seen their basement? No, it's always locked. What about it? I don't want to spoil the surprise. Just go and take a look sometime. What's in it? Just go and take a look. I'm looking at the fishing boats. Oh, what an ambition to be a fisherman. No, this is different. I mean, you should hear his voice when he talks about it. He's on to something. Catherine, darling, I'm not going to lose another son to the ocean. We need him here. Yes. So I brought canned goods for your pantry. Elaney, now that the kitchen is finished and we're going to be able to eat at home, I'd like to start doing the grocery shopping myself. But this is part of the way that I'm able to pay the boy. I got a raise at school. I can afford it. I mean, I'd really like to keep my own kitchen. Well, I'll have to talk to John. I already have. I'm sorry if I haven't given you what you wanted. No, Elaney, honestly, I'm grateful for all you've done. 
I really think John and I need to be more independent. Anyway, I'd really like you to come over for dinner soon. I can hardly wait. Yes. These scheduled get-togethers are very important to me. But like the other morning, I would appreciate it if you called before you came over. None for me. This is too rich for me. I'll just have the asparagus. Oh, give me hers. This is wonderful, Kat. Elaine, I'd like to thank you for all you've done. Yes. Now you can relax and enjoy your new home. <clears throat> Isn't that pretty? Can I see that? It's very expensive. <clears throat> You'll have to help me. Well, love from Jesse J. Darling, isn't that the good-looking man that your daughter was dancing with at the wedding? Beautiful. I can't believe your mother said that. Why are you blaming her? How much did that thing cost? I don't care about the watch. Oh, is that right? You wear it a lot. You dated him, and there's an inscription. What, 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 what happened? You sleep with this guy? John, you know the answer to that. What is this really about? I'll sell the watch if it makes you happy. I'll sell the watch. I'm sorry. Oh, my mind, it goes nuts sometimes. I don't know what's wrong with me. Listen. I love you so much. I don't want any of this stuff to get between us. I know you don't. I don't either. Especially now. Well, don't get too excited, but um, I was looking at my calendar. Oh. <laughs> it's not definite yet, but... He left the shag the way to more than me anyway. Don't you want him around for support? <laughs> support? But he blows up the drop of a pin. <sighs> but he always makes up for it by bringing me little gifts like this. So, you, um, ever wonder where it all comes from? Their money? Yeah. I mean, can the car business be that great? She bought our house, your house. They're never short. It's like a bottomless pit. I don't know how much longer I can handle it. You know, right, Dolly Button? What is that? Dan caught me sneaking a smoke, and he put it out there. On your neck? Yeah. Do you know anything about steroids? Oh! oh I think I'm going into labor. Okay, okay. Push, 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 something sure where could charlene have gone it's been two weeks honey honey she has the baby so we'll find her you know she calls dan from where she won't tell him you know right now he doesn't even want to talk about it you know he gets he's like it's weird i don't know i don't know something's wrong if charlene could have called me she would have honey honey she's all right okay look they just both need to cool off that's all Power play. The back try 
Can you believe how precious he is? Look, the Podora's chin. He looks just like my Nikos. A son. I thought you were going to name him after your father. No, I, I thought so too, but you know, I think Matthew's good and strong and in the Bible. Did you tell John about Charlene? You have any idea where she went? Uh, she doesn't say much. Maybe she's fine, but I don't know where. We'll are. find her parents, then we'll find her. This has gone on too long. You never should have let her take the baby in the first place. It's a disgrace. What kind of woman would run off like that? Okay, I just, I just said it. I'll, I'll take care of it. Oh, Gina's looking after him. It's our first night alone in months. Oh, I wanted to see that baby. I don't get to see that baby. Come on in. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Can you put on some music? Right. Something soft, not like those things that you play. And I can do Honey? it. She's going back to work? Yeah, teaching. Just in the morning, though. Will this be good for the baby? Uh, I can't talk around it. I know she's independent like they all are these days, but she has a child now. She should be thinking of the family first. She is, she is. Come on, it's my birthday, please. I'm so glad you could find the time to come over tonight. Don't you look beautiful? You try these, dear, they're hot. <gasps> John. Oh, honey. A John. Oh, I, I can't. God in heaven. John, what do I do? What do I do, John? Your mother did that on purpose. Oh, come on. That's a big mistake. No, she couldn't stand that we were going to be together on your birthday. Oh, come on. That's crazy. Calm down, okay? She's downstairs. No, everything will be fine. It's fine. It's a mistake. I would never forget her allergies. I made very sure nothing had peanuts. Will she believe me? Of course she will. Mom. She'll be fine. It's not your fault. Look at you, poor thing. Where's your mommy? Oh, he needs to have his diaper changed. Well, I'll do it. Cats in the attic. Oh, no, please. You know I enjoy changing him. <laughs> got a terrible rash. Aren't you going to get it? Uh, let the machine pick it up. Hi, leave a message for Catherine, Johnny, or Matthew, and somebody will call you back. Bye. Hi, Chara. It's Jesse J. I got your call. Let's get together for a drink. It's been way too long. You know the number. Hello. She knows the number. Come on, precious. Yes. I think your daddy needs to be alone. He's a friend. Part of his business is repossessions. I wanted to talk to him about a boat for you. Yeah, right. I don't have to explain this to you. I don't ask you about every call you get. Yeah, you do. It's for my mother. You do. John, 
John, what is going on here? You should see your face. Well, what is it, Catherine, huh? I mean, that, that guy got more money than me? Marriage too boring for you? I swear to God, you know, you and Charlene. What's with Johnny? He, he seemed angry with you. I see what you're doing, and you know just how to do it. What do you mean? <laughs> you're trying to poison my husband's mind. Get out. Catherine, please. What's going on? If you don't leave us alone, I'm going to call the IRS. They might want to take a look at your basement. She has to go. Hey. I'm looking for John. He didn't come home last night. No. No. I'm just talking about you. Where is it? Guess who's here? Where's the baby? At my mother's. I'm glad you came. The boys and I have a little financial problem. We need you to sign something. For what? Where's John? We have to get a loan. It's nothing important. Just sign here. You want my name off the mortgage of the house? We're using it as collateral. For what? Does it matter, dear? As you know, I wasn't comfortable with you giving us the house, but we're in it now, all three of us. And signing back the mortgage can put two of us on the street. You won't sign it? No. She wants it in your name only. What's going on? She bought the house, Catherine. She's pressuring you. She wants me out of the family. Gotta make my own decisions. Really? When are you gonna start? She controls your life. You're 28 years old. They treat you like a baby. See, that's it. You just, you don't get it, do you? You don't understand what a real family is like. We take care of each other. Take care of me. If you want to be my husband, for once, stick up for me. I'm a dog. Don't make me choose between you and my family. Matthew and I are your family. Give me that shirt. You still love her, Ma. Johnny, if she loved you, she wouldn't care about a house, she'd sign. And she wouldn't be seeing somebody else. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's not what it looks like. Sweetheart, I asked around. There was a lot of men in her life before you. She was a, a virgin when she met me. Oh, Johnny. You don't believe that. This Jesse, who's he? He's a man. He's rich. He has a lot of women. You don't really believe that that he gave her an engraved diamond watch for a kiss on the cheek. And he's not the only one either. Okay. I didn't want to do this, but we have to shake some sense into you. Dan has something to say. Danny, tell him. 
<clears throat> Tell him. She came on to me. a divorce. John? I don't want Charlene to listen because of you. She caught you making passes at Dan. She thought you two were having an affair. That's why, Catherine. That's why he lost his wife and child. That's crazy. You don't believe that. It's John's house. You're out. And you can leave Matthew with me. My grandchild is not going to live with a single woman. He needs a family. This one? You ruined Charlene's life and her Go baby. Go inside the house. Look what you've done to your own son. John. John, listen to me. John. Please let me in. John, open the door. Short and sweet, honey. He wants the house. Financially, he wants to cut you off completely. And he wants sole custody of Matthew. No. Can he get it? Might. Bound to get shared. No, I can't live with that woman's influence on my son. It's bad enough what she did to John. There is some good news. The appraisal has come back. The value of the house has increased over $100,000. You're entitled to half. You're going to need it for Matthew. This isn't going to be a slam dunk. I'm a pro bono lawyer. I will give it all I can, but we've got limited resources here. They've hired some big gun lawyers. We'll get through it. Now, for the settlement... What's fair? Fair? They're going after everything, so gut him. No, that's how the Pedarises would do it, not me. What's fair? Occupancy of the house until the divorce is final. Half of the profits of the sale of the house. Custody of your son. Child support. Maybe some alimony. No alimony. I can teach again. Have him served. you without my lawyer. Did I have a lawyer when I took you into my family? I gave you everything, Catherine. Now you want to take what isn't yours. Give me my keys, please. I want to be nice about this. But my family is all I have. Let's settle this now. I just want what's right. No, this is war for you. What you want is my head on a pole. My boy is in pain. Like when he was young. I can't let you hurt him like this. He's not your boy. He's a grown man. Let him fight for himself for once. This is America. These are the 90s. <laughs> You'll forgive me if I pass on your lecture. I'm more American than anybody you know, little girl. Nobody gave it to me. My family fought for it. And I am not about to let it go for some fatherless music teacher with big plans. And my grandson! You have no idea what kind of friends I have and what they would do for me. Security! This woman is threatening me! I'm sorry I'm late. Something happened to my car. I had to take a taxi. Mm. I got the paperwork. The Padaris has claimed that John only makes $700 a month. That leaves nothing left over for child support. He gets a lot more than that. She, she pays him in, in cash and food and clothes. Dan's wife, Charlene, can tell you that. But you don't know where she is. I'll find her. There's more. Dan has filed a builder's lane against your house. He says that you and John owe them $65,000 for renovations, which would eat up all of the profit. That's not true. He's got the receipts from the lumber yard to prove it. Let me see those. You have to find Charlene. Do you need a private detective? How can I afford one? I'll do it myself. Marion, 
My family is in trouble. And I need your help. Come in, I'll make tea. I don't want tea. When's the court date? A month from now. You've got time. What's next? I go to the lumber yard. But get this, I have to go to my doctor and get a note proving that I'm not suffering from postpartum depression. That I actually wanted my child. Are you serious? They're claiming I'm mentally unstable. I thought it was a requirement for this family. John? This little piggy went to market. And this little piggy stayed home. I've been getting letters from the neighbors. A couple of them saw Catherine mistreat Matthew when you weren't around. Also, she's been returning some of your wedding gifts for the cash. Duplicates, Ma. I don't want to attack her. I just, I just want it to be over. This is protecting. This is not attacking. She hasn't paid a penny for this house. She's a bad mother. She's probably cheating on you, and still she wants everything. The Fedorises before you were fighters. If you can't fight for yourself, at least fight for your son. What's the problem? This man did some remodeling for me, and I think he overcharged. In fact, I'm sure he did. W would you mind looking these bills over? Sure. I'd be happy to check them out for you. Thanks. I need to speak to Charlene. Tell her it's Catherine. Look, I I'm not calling because Dan asked me to. I'm divorcing John. I I'm no longer in that family. You're her mother. She must have called you. I'm sorry. I have no idea where she is. Please don't call here again. Well, take my number if she calls. Tell her to call me. I'm going to court in a week and I might lose you. My child. <laughs> Since I live across the street, I talked to Catherine. She told me she married John Padaris because then she'd never have to work for the rest of her life. I live in the neighborhood. I can see her son's house. And I've noticed the girl's comings and goings. I made a list. On September 15, she left at 10 p.m. and returned at 8.30 the next morning. On the 16th, she left at 6.45 p.m. and returned at 10 a.m. the next day. Uh, one, one of the contributing factors in the breakdown of my marriage was Catherine asking me to meet her in private. Uh, she said that she admired my body. Because uh, I work out. But uh, anyway, I said no. But she wouldn't stop. She never wanted the baby. She told me it would interfere with her independence. And she talked to me about abortion. Mr. Baderas, you submitted a number of invoices from this lumber yard, invoices totaling $65,000 worth of materials purchased for the home bought for your brother and his wife? That is correct. Mr. Baderas, are these invoices in fact real? Yeah, of course they are. Please remember, Mr. Baderas, you are under oath. Did you in fact purchase the items on these invoices? Yeah. Thank you very much. That will be all. The young lady wanted to know if there was anything wrong with the receipts. Mm. And uh, was there anything wrong? Well, yes, ma'am, the dates. I noticed the first receipt was dated March two years ago. And why would that indicate a problem? 
Well, we got stores all over the state, but this branch here wasn't open until February this year. So if the store wasn't open, where did the receipts come from? Blanks must have been stolen off the cashier's desk. Somebody predated them, not realizing we weren't even open back then. We had to do it. You wouldn't fight for yourself. You, you bailed on us like you always do. She doesn't take what she doesn't deserve. You lied, Dan. What, what, what the hell do you think she's doing? This is a legal battle. You do everything you have to to win. You, you lied on the Stanley? What, what the hell is that? Oh, stop it. Stop it, John. If you want to pull Doris, you do what you have to. It's called survival. You testify tomorrow. You need to be strong. Our child is at stake. Your mother has stated that Catherine did not want this child. Is that true? I'm sorry I couldn't hear you. Let me ask again. Do you really believe that Catherine did not want this child? Yes or no? Do you really believe that Catherine did not want this child? She wanted it. She, she wanted the baby. Gina, Catherine, you won. You got occupancy of the house until the divorce is final. Half of the profits of the sale of the house, sole custody of Matthew. And we got a break on child support. The judge ordered him to pay $650 a month. When will the divorce be final? Six months. Congratulations, honey. We'll appeal. I can't go through that again, Mom. The hell you can't! You're in shock! Now give it time. We're here for you. Remember, nobody loves you like your family. like this anymore, Catherine. We can't. You know, I, uh, I'd rather be dead. John, don't say that. No, look. Uh, I mean it, you know. I'm just, I missed you so much. And I'm really sorry that I didn't listen, you know, but I want, I want to be your husband. I want to be your husband, and I want to start being a father again. Please, baby. Please. John. Listen, look, look. I don't do anything. Quit my job. Stop seeing my mother. You just tell me. I'll do anything. Please, please. Hey, Matthew. Matthew. Hey, come on up here. See that? Got a stick. We need to see a marriage counselor. Yeah, that's fine. You said you were willing to make a break from your family, and I need you to do that. I mean, that just tears apart again. You know, I um, I quit the garage. You know, I'm tired of working on cars and everything, so I was, I was thinking maybe I could get a job on a, a fishing boat. I swear, I'll just, I'll do anything to help you. Where's my buddy? Come here, come here, you. Uh, my family back, huh?
does little Matthew remember me? Of course she does. Do you ever ask of his grandma? All the time. Listen, Ma, um, I'm trying to put my life back together with Kat, so, um, uh, we can't make this a habit. I understand. Hey, how's Dan? <laughs> well, he's not much comfort. Oh, is that you okay? Yes. It's hard. I can't hold either of my grandchildren. And I feel... I feel that I lost you forever. So you think your mother-in-law sent this? She hates me because her son is back in our marriage. This woman has threatened me before. Has anyone heard these threats? No, but I've seen her watching the house, driving by at night. She's obsessed with her son. You'll find her fingerprints on this. I guarantee it. You told them you thought she sent it? John, she did. Well, you just said they didn't find any fingerprints. I mean, couldn't you have talked to me first? I didn't think you'd believe me. Do you? Oh, see, look, let the past go, all right? I'm here. I'm with you. That's what you wanted. I mean, I barely see her anymore. I, I, you know, I don't understand what this thing is you have against my mother. But you still see her? Oh, honey, this is just tearing me apart, all right? Matthew, he's, he's grown up so fast. He's already missed so much. I mean, can you, can you just give her another chance? John, we have to move away from here. It's just, it's too hard with them living so close. I'm sorry. Oh, where, 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 where am I going to go? I can't find a job. I'm sponging off you. Look at me. God, I'm, I'm like a total failure as a husband. You're nuts. John, let's go away to the country this weekend. We can find work. I mean, maybe the boat and fishing is a dream right now, but you've got skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a grease monkey. John... I love you. I don't want to lose you. We'll go away this weekend. Just the three of us. Start fresh. Okay? Don't you look at me like that. I had something to tell him, all right? I've got something to tell you. Haven't you and Elaney caused us enough pain in our lives? Don't you think that John should be with his wife and his son? Just leave us alone! Last night, Ma had a heart attack. Thank you for coming, John. How you doing, Ma? Hmm. The doctor says it was just angina. You're home now. You know where you belong. Something wrong with that girl, Johnny. Her and Charlene. It ain't right what they did to the family. We gotta get our kids back, Johnny.
better for her. I'm over there, full time. I'm now running back and forth. She'll uh, be with her boys. Only for a while. No, I won't. Come on, don't talk like that. What do you mean? Goodbye, sweet boy. your visit? He was asking a lot of questions. How's your mother? She's, uh, she's good. You know, she's up and around. Yeah, I know. She's been calling me in the middle of the night and hanging up. You really need to talk to someone because you're starting to really lose it, huh? Don, this is too hard for me. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Next time you want Matthew, we'll arrange it so we don't have to see each other. I just want you to know, you worry for me. I'll never be anybody else. You're gonna have to stop harassing Lenny Podaris. What? Uh, she just broke into my house. I came here to file a complaint. Well, she beat you to it. She said you threatened her with a baseball bat. That's crazy. She just broke into my house. She's threatened me. She's harassed me to phone calls in the middle of the night. What's it gonna take to get you to do something? Proof. Look, you're in the middle of a domestic dispute. A lot of people are gonna do things to make the other party look bad in a divorce. I'm telling the truth. These are the complaints Mrs. Bedaris has filed against you. How am I to tell who's telling the truth here? Please don't hang up on me again. I need to talk to Charlene. I'm in trouble. Damn it! This isn't going to stop. Until something happens to me. Nothing's going to happen to you. I know. But if it does, Eleni would get to raise Matthew. Promise me you'll never let that happen. Catherine. I promise.
713-OFG. Listen, I am not giving in. Do you hear me? Catherine. It's me, Charlene. Charlene? Yes. Oh, thank God. Charlene. Oh, hey. <laughs> So, you uh, sure know where he followed you? Yes. Great. We already had to move once. My parents are really scared. Dan's out of control. Look, I'm sorry I didn't call you. I know I should have, but I was afraid. I'm not even using my real name. Charlene, what happened to you? Oh, Dan tried to strangle me. And then he told me to pick out the colored garbage bag he was going to stuff my body in. Did you press charges? Are you kidding? I ran. I'm, I'm afraid of that family. She's going to try and take my baby. I don't know how long I can hold out even here. Look, you better be careful, Catherine. That woman is dangerous. Money laundering, stolen goods. Nothing would surprise me about her. That's why business is always booming. We have to go to the police. We can back each other up. You said you've already tried that. Besides, I, I have a new life here now. I need you. They'll make you pay. Not if we stick together. Charlene, if they found you once, they'll find you again. Call the police. Please. Okay. Dan's wife will back me up. They've been doing the same thing to her. Her name is Charlene Padaris. I knew Dan would find me. Hello? Yeah, uh, Charlene Padaris, please. Sorry. You must have the wrong number. There's no one here by that name. They'll never leave us alone. Driving away in a car, there's supposed to be a restraining order in the school files. She's not supposed to see him. I think we should all go talk about this inside. If you don't mind. I mind. It's okay, I can deal with this. Stay away from him, from us. You're insane. If you don't stop all this, I'll take you back to court. And if it's the last thing I do, I'll make sure you'll never see Matthew again. Do you understand? Leave us alone! Catherine, Matthew is a Podaris.
out here as soon as I could. You all right? No. No. Is there anything I can do? Yes. I've got to move away from here. Your mother, she's been trying to break me down. I don't want her to know it, but she has. I can't go on like this. She's wrecked my life. I've got to go. And I want to take Matthew with me. Will you let me do that? Uh, Catherine. Please. I'm begging you. Let me go. I can't. Please. Please. and I want someone I can count on. Because when you were at the end, we reached out to you. That's exactly right, my friend. Exactly right. Yes, I know. I understand. Yes. You uh, sleep okay? Like the dead. Hey, um, I thought I heard someone walking around about one o'clock. Must have been Dan. I spoke to the lawyer this morning. We're going to take her back to court. Oh, no. We have to get an injunction to keep her from selling your house. No. Do you get Matthew today? Good. I adore that boy. He looks so much like you did. Yeah. It's Chopin, not Chopin. <laughs> Bye. I was thinking about what you said. I want to come with you. Leave town. I can't. I, I, I finally believe what you told me about my mother. You know, you, you were right. I can do this now. You've put us through so much. Listen, this time it's, it's, she's out of my life. She's out of my life forever, all right? We'll go somewhere, okay? We'll go somewhere where she'll never find us. I hadn't seen them, Catherine. I didn't know. I know now. I can't. That time has passed. I have to close the door. Well, um, maybe someday. Even if you have to close the door, you don't have to lock it, do you? Okay, I won't lock it. I'll get Matthew. I'll make, I'll make sure he's home on time.
I said I'd pass the message along. All right, then. Damn it. Was that the police, Catherine? Yes, he'll pass the message on. They don't believe me. She has them fooled. Look, I'll, I'll leave my car here and I'll ride with you. You shouldn't be alone. Thanks, Sarah. What would I do without you? Ready? She's all right, isn't she? Mr. Podoris. John, an old woman. I was at the garage all day. You had someone do it? Was it Dad? No. Did you use our own family to kill my wife? No. Johnny, Matthew was yours now. Always. No. Never. You're gonna rot in hell. Tried to tell me time and time again. Domestics, you're the worst. The other girl in the car didn't even see who did it. All those other cars and no one did. We found this inside a car. Where's he going?
station wagon coming at you. Just us. We're the family. They don't understand. I did it for John. And I would do it for you. I'm your mother. (laughs) 